So with Monster Hunter Rise coming out here soon, during the Flooded Forest uh, redesign map trailer, we saw that the Great Ruggy appears. And due to some equipment showcases, we also saw that it seems like the Great Baggy is coming back, and then that was confirmed with the Ice Map. Now whether or not we're getting the Great Jaggy, I don't know, but for the sake of conveniences, I thought it'd be best to just talk about all the Jaggy class equipment in kind of one go. Side note here, the Jaggy clones of Lisa when it comes to these smaller, large monsters that are similar to one another is actually one of my favorites. Starting things off, we'll take a look at the Great Jaggy. In terms of its armor, it's fine. Because it's such an early monster, you're not going to get like an amazing design. There are some that tend to have really good designs, but with Great Jaggy, it's just like the armor looks okay. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's fine. I don't really have a super big preference for which one. In some of the games that I've played where it shows up, the early set is at least decent by giving you an attack boost, which, you know, that's convenient. Other than that, nothing really to talk about in terms of its armor. I do like the color scheme though. Equipment wise, Jaggy has some cool stuff. I do like its dual blades, I think they actually look pretty neat, and I like its sword and shield a lot. Um, I know there are some great swords, but eh, not really that big on them. So yeah, when it comes to Jaggy armor, it's another C, just not as great of a C. <laughs> Palico equipment looks nice, it's okay. Again, it shares a similar theme to that of the uh, Hunter's armor set. The best part to me when it comes to Jaggy equipment is just the sword. The sword from the Sword and Shield and the sword that the Palico uses, it just looks pretty neat. Then we have the Great Baggy, which is going to be a pretty easy one to go over as well, because it's just the Great Jaggy armor, but a different color. You're going to find this is pretty common with certain monsters particularly when it comes to these clone monsters, and obviously uh, subspecies and rare species when it comes to other larger monsters. And for the colors, I think it's actually pretty cool. The Great Baggy already has this nice blue and black color scheme, and it complements this armor set design quite nicely. It looks better in terms of its colors, but again, not an amazing looking piece of equipment. And in terms of its armor skills, it's usually good for preventing sleep, considering that's what the Great Baggy is known to do which can be helpful, but I don't know, sleep doesn't tend to be that big of an issue with most monsters I tend to hunt, even the ones that have ways of putting you to sleep. Weapon-wise, it all looks the same as the Great Jaggy weapons, except a different color, and some of these weapons will inflict sleep, which means I don't tend to like them as much. Sleep status is my least favorite status to use with a weapon. I'm not that big on it, but hey, at least the weapons have a cool color scheme. There isn't currently any uh, Palico armor that I could find when it comes to Great Baggy, but considering that we're probably going to get that in Monster Hunter Rise, since Palicos are in the game, and Palamutes, which, hey, when Rise comes out, we'll definitely do a video taking a look at all the Palamute armor sets for uh, returning monsters. I would have to say that it's probably just going to be a palette swap of the Great Jaggy Palico armor, which is common, and hey, that's something that they already do when it comes to like the Velocidrome armor sets uh, for Palicos. So again, a C. Finally, that takes us to my favorite of these trio, the Great Rogi. I think it's got one of the most unique armor sets when it comes to a trio like this. Like mentioned before, uh, the Velocidrome, Eodrome, Gendrome, Giodrome, they all share the same looking armor. Trust me, when we get to that in Monster Hunter Double Cross, we'll get to it. But this time around, for whatever reason, they decided to make one of the monsters in the trio, or the set anyway, have an entirely different armor lookout. And I think it's actually pretty neat. There's this kind of western cowboy feel with it that makes it very distinct. On top of that, since the Great Ragi was introduced in the third generation and until Rise has only been in the third generation, its armor was incredibly good. Like, this armor kept you immune to poison, which was necessary if you wanted to fight a Giganox. Giganox is one of the most toxic creatures where it has so many poison-based attacks, so having an immunity to that really is helpful. On top of that, it has a skill that helped reduce the depletion of weapon sharpness, which is also very nice. It is a grade B, I would say. Not necessarily grade A or S, but B armor, where it's good. It's not amazing, but it's still really good. Weapon-wise is very interesting too. You have the Sword and Shield, which I don't really have in 3U because it's only in high rank, and I tend to play mostly in low rank for all the weapons and only specialize my weapons in high rank. But it's interesting, it's cool, and it does poison damage, poison being my favorite status to inflict with weapons. 
And then you have its bow, which is also pretty rad. It's got that kind of like, uh, the notch looks like a pistol. It's pretty neat. But that longsword, when I was first playing 3U, I decided main duels, and then I went to longsword. And man, with how early you can get that longsword and R being pretty good, having decent damage output and having poison, that just makes it fantastic. It's one of my favorite longswords in 3U just because it's so familiar for me and I really enjoy using it. It's not my favorite in terms of design, but it's definitely a really great weapon. So yeah, uh, great Rocky equipment. I'm absolutely looking forward to see what weapons we get back in Rise and what new weapons they might introduce. So I'm really looking forward to the great Rocky. Palco armor is interesting. It's a uh, it kind of follows suits with the whole western theme, while also giving your palico a little mustache. It's cute in its own right, it's interesting, but I'd have to say it's kind of one of the more goofier ones in a way that's just kind of eh to me. There are some that are goofy in a way that's really fun and cute. This one's just kind of the middle tier. I'm not that big into it. So there we go, that's the uh, Great Jaggy Trio. By far, uh, Great Ruggy is the best and is the one I'm looking forward to the most to see what we get from that. The others are perfectly fine. <laughs> They're okay. Next time, I'm thinking of either taking a look at Royal Ludroth, or maybe getting Rathalos and Rathian out of the way. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.